A team of scientists is cr creating a buzz in Canadian research and beekeeping circles. They've announced a plan to develop cold-hardy and disease-resistant honeybees with the help of, of advanced genetic technology. Bob Simpson reports. It is an ambitious undertaking. A pair of Canadian scientists have launched a four-year project to create a made-in-Canada honeybee. Biologist Amro Zayad from York University and Leonard Foster from the University of British Columbia will use genomic or advanced gene mapping tools to help achieve their goal. They want to identify bees with specific genetic traits that help protect them from cold weather, disease and pests. Based on that information, the beekeeper could then make decisions about which bees to uh, breed and, and propagate for the next generation and over time we think this will improve the overall health of Canadian uh, bee colonies. The team plans to analyze the genetics of honeybees in as many as a thousand Canadian colonies. There is growing concern about the high bee mortality rates reported in colonies across North America. Since 2006, Canadian beekeepers have lost close to a quarter of their colonies. Losses have been tied to disease, parasitic pests and the cold Canadian winter. We need to pick traits that are specific for these climates. Um, and so picking for our long hard winters, honey production, gentleness and those sorts of things. There's not many places in the world that keep bees in harder winters than northern Saskatchewan. Canadian honeybees produce an average of 75 million pounds of honey a year and they are irreplaceable pollinators for many fruit and vegetable crops and for oil seeds like canola. That adds more urgency to the bee genetics project. By making honeybee, honeybee colonies more healthy, we're not just uh, generating profit for the beekeeper, we're also generating profit for all the farmers that rely on bees for pollination. The research team is confident the new genetic testing technology will be fully accessible to Canadian beekeepers by 2019. Bob Simpson, CTV News, Saskatoon.